In the 1900s, the world became familiar with a new term, dot com. It had existed for many years before that, but was mostly military, industrial, government, and educational users. But with the dawning of the World Wide Web, dot com became a common consumer term. It also became a monopoly that Shofar Domain would like to break. People and organizations found their identity with the domain name on the web. Dot com, dot net, and dot org became the place to be and there was money to be made. Massive organizations came into being that did not exist before the web became the norm that everybody knew about. Yahoo, Amazon, Google, Twitter, and the like did not exist before dot com. The organizations became billion dollar players in this new world of the internet. However, someone else was bringing in the big bucks and exercising a stranglehold on the web. Domain names have a top level domain or TLD, the com in a dot com. There are many TLDs that we are familiar with besides com. Originally there was com, net, org, gov, mil, int, edu, and two letter TLDs for countries like US, UK, DE. Controlling the TLDs is now done by an organization called IANA, or the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. IANA contracts with others to run TLDs, but remains in control. Network Solutions, or as they like to be called, the dot-com people, manages the 200 million dot-coms at about $6 per year. This is a lot of money, and as you might expect, they don't want to give it up. Over time, new TLDs were introduced with other operators such as .info, .biz, and lesser known .jobs, .coop, or .museum. In all this, .com reigns supreme, and the IANA has maintained control. More organizations wanted to tap the multi-billion dollar market of domain names and the related security certificates. So IANA has opened a process which charge several hundred thousand dollars each to just apply to license a new TLD. Amazon and Google are being reserved for the obvious owners since they have deep pockets to acquire them. Some of the couple hundred applications will become live TLDs in the spring of 2013. They will be a mix of TLDs for the sole use by the owner and public TLDs where you can rent a domain just like .com. The operative word here is rent. We have grown accustomed to the idea of paying an annual fee to own, or in reality, rent a domain name. This is a policy decision. There is not a technical reason for this. This policy results in the massive steady cash flow for TLD operators. There have been several attempts to run alternative TLDs outside of the control of IANA. There is no technical reason that this cannot be done. Pressure and marketing hype are all that keeps IANA and the TLD operators in control. Since most consumers have little knowledge about these issues, and therefore have little motivation to make use of alternative TLDs, only an estimated 6% of the world can actually reach these domains at this time. Shofar Domain is simply software that we'd like to give away. It allows ISPs, organizations, or end users to make use of the current IANA TLDs and any or all of the alternative TLDs. This has been done before, so what's different? We are offering domain ownership by technology and not just policy. Policies can change. The technology is fixed. We use digital signatures to control a domain name. Once you obtain a domain and have the key, you alone have the key. You can make use of the domain, sell the domain, or if you goof, you may permanently lose the domain. There is no annual fee. This is truly ownership. We will operate the .own TLD. The name makes it clear that these domains are different. The domain owner is actually the owner. Anyone can operate another TLD for private or public use. Private use TLDs are used today. They allow a particular group to communicate within that group and reduce their availability to outsiders. Public TLDs, like .com, can be made for a variety of purposes. 
an organization could have a dot them, an ISP could have a dot there, activists could have a dot issue. All these can be done without the several hundred thousand dollar investment required with IANA. The current system is poll based. When you want to know where a given domain is, you, or your computer, uses the DNS, or domain name system, to obtain the actual IP address for the site you want to reach. Your computer pulls information from a series of other computers to find this address. This is part of the reason that when you first go to a site, there is a delay. Shofar domain is push-based. When a domain is added or one is changed, that information is pushed to all the DNS servers, and the common ones are delivered directly to all users. The delay is gone, and reliability is enhanced. Included with the domain information is the security certificate. This eliminates more of the delay and the annual expense. It also opens the door to a myriad of new services that are secure at the outset. Since each domain is signed by the owner, a third party, the TLD operator, a government agency, or corporation cannot shut down or point your domain elsewhere. The owner owns it. With this system in place, we have the backbone for a hyper-secure services from email, voice, and video communications to a variety of data storage and management services. These will bring more users to the Shelf or Domain alternative while still working well with IANA and their expensive flock. Where do you come in? Help us build the .own domain. Obtain some domains for personal or organizational use or simply as a speculator that may sell them later. This will help fund the project so we may reach our goal to be fully operational at the end of 2012 and long before the new TLDs from IANA appear. Consider if you want to operate or contact the operation of a TLD, large or small. For example, you might want to operate .dallas to bring the larger Dallas, Texas community together. Or you might want to operate .barrow for the smaller community of Barrow, Alaska. Perhaps it is a church denomination, a club, or something else that we haven't thought of yet, and you are the first. Please visit us at shofardomain.com to find out more and become a part of balancing the power of the large TLD operators with a mom-and-pop shop or a lower-budget organization. Help us make our goal, and then you can send a note of condolence to IANA and their expensive TLD operators.